God, I forgot what it felt like to be out on a bike outside. This is amazing. This is freedom. It's like I just escaped jail. Guys, the cold hard truth when it comes to training for an Ironman is that it is not easy. And there are so many days where I'm just like, I don't feel like doing it today. And today is one of those days. It's currently Wednesday, a little after 7.30. I woke up later than I normally do. I don't know, it's just one of those days. I'm sure you guys have them as well. But sometimes there's just days where I have so much internal tension to like actually get started in doing the workout. You know, I'm not feeling like 100% either. I don't know if that has something to do with it. Sometimes you can just tell with your body if it's like trying to get sick. And I feel like my body might be trying to, I'm trying to fight it. So I'm supposed to have a brick workout, just a small one, a small run off the bike, but I don't know if I'm gonna do the run portion. I might just do the bike only. If I can get myself up, uh, me just sitting down on the couch didn't help, but I have a pyramid workout, kind of like I have the past two weeks. So I need to do that, but really what I would like to do instead is just lay here with this little guy. You just wanna relax, why can't, you don't ever do any workouts. You just lay right here all day long and just wait for pets. It must be nice. If I can just get my bib shorts on and get on the bike, I will be successful this morning. I'm like trying to talk myself into doing it. It's not always easy, people. It's not always easy. Okay, the hardest part is over, which is just getting the bib on, getting the cycling shoes on, and getting on the bike. So now that I'm on it, I know I'll get it done, which is the most important part, I would say. So yeah, just gonna pick a route really quick, and then I have this, like I said, this is another pyramid workout. So I have uh, quite a few sets of the actual warm up, so I'm not gonna go over that. But once I get to the actual pyramid, once I finish this warm up, I'll explain what the main part of the workout is. It's gonna be pretty similar to the last couple weeks if you have been watching the videos, but if not, you'll see in just a second. Okay, so I've officially started the main sets. So I'm at the bottom of the pyramid. I'll work my way up and then come back down. I'll put the workout on the screen here so you can see what I'm saying. But basically right now I'm at the two minutes at 195 and then I go into two minutes at 230 watts. And then the next big set is five minutes at 195 and then three minutes at 230 watts. And then the top of the pyramid is the nine minutes at 195 and then six minutes at 230 watts. And then I start making my way back down the pyramid. Five minutes at 195, three minutes at 230, and then finally two minutes at 195 and two minutes at 230. So. My legs are already feeling it a little bit after the warm up. This morning is just not meant to be easy. I'm gonna get through it anyways. Just all, that's all I gotta keep telling myself, right? Glass half full, not glass half empty. All right, maybe I'll check in after I finish the top of the pyramid. We'll see how I'm feeling. I just finished the top of that pyramid, the nine minutes at 195, and then the six minutes at 2.30, and that was a bitch. Man, that was tough. These are not getting easier week by week. But now I'm about to start making my way down the pyramid. So I'm on the back half of this workout, thank God. And then we're done for the day. I'm just dreaming about my Dunkin' coffee. That's my reward for after this. But I'm also trying to like multitask at the same time because I'm about to submit an offer for one of my buyers that I went out with yesterday. I'm telling myself it's a good morning. I'm getting my bike workout done. I'm about to submit an offer for a buyer. It's sunny outside. It's Wednesday, it's hump day. All good things, right? So let's just finish out this workout strong. We're almost there. All right, oh man. Workout complete, I'm happy to have that one done. 22.2 miles was an hour and eight minutes. 177 was my average watt. Yeah, it definitely wasn't my best workout, I will say. But it's okay, I'm learning you know that not every session is going to be the best session. Really the most important thing is that I got it in and I did it. I just kind of struggled through that one, but it's okay. You know, I'm just trying to like get through this week, this last tough week before next week, which is an active recovery week. So I really just want to try to finish strong. I now 
need to shower. I have something I'm kind of excited to show you guys, but I need to shower first before I show it to you. So yeah, let me do that and then I'll show you what I'm excited for. Okay, I showered and now I feel a lot better, but what I am excited to show you guys and hopefully you like is this t-shirt. This t-shirt is something I will now start selling but there's only one reason that I'm doing this. A lot of you may know that for Iron Man Lake Placid that's coming up in July, I have been raising money through the Iron Man Foundation to do the race. Um, and if you're not familiar with the Iron Man Foundation, it's one of the largest foundations specifically for the Iron Man where they support the communities in the areas where they are doing the races. And so I am racing Lake Placid with Team IMF. So I will be raising funds and I have been raising funds, but it's obviously been a little challenging trying to raise the money. I'm supposed to raise, I think $3,700. I'm right around the thousand dollar mark now. And one of the challenges I feel like when it comes to raising money really for anything is, you know, getting people, especially that you're not really close with or people like yourself who are just watching these videos and you're like, I'm not going to give this kid money. I don't even know him. But what I figured that I could do to really try to get creative with all this is to create something that you guys might be interested in that you could actually purchase and actually get your hands on. And then all the proceeds will go towards the Iron Man Foundation. So then it's like a win-win for both of us, right? Like I'm getting money donated to the Iron Man Foundation, but then you guys are also getting something in return. So it doesn't just feel like you're just giving money to me and you're never getting anything from it. I created this shirt and this is for triathletes specifically. I honestly really like this shirt a lot. On the front, what you'll see is it says passion in motion. The reason I put that on the front is because I feel like us as triathletes, we are super passionate about just anything that we do, if you really think about it. In order to re even do a triathlon or sign up for any kind of races, I feel like we have to be passionate about wanting to cross that finish line. And we have, we learn to become passionate as we're training for these races. So I really like that aspect of it. And then in motion, obviously because we are constantly moving when it comes to training and doing these races. We're just people who are constantly in motion and doing things. But my favorite part of this shirt is the back. So hopefully you will be able to see it on the camera. But basically it says triathlete and it just describes all the ingredients of a triathlete. I'll put up pictures on the screen as well. I'm really proud of this shirt. I like it a lot. I will be selling it for $35. Again, it costs a certain amount of money to make the shirt. Unfortunately, not all of the $35 will go towards Team IMF, but any proceeds that I make will go directly towards it. So please guys, if you like the shirt, I highly recommend buying it. They're gonna come in a few different colors, which you'll see there will be a link in my description where you can go purchase the shirt and I'll also I think I'm able to link it to my YouTube as well but the shirt will come in like an olive color it'll come in this color which is like a reddish slash pinkish it's a little bit more of a lighter red for sure a navy blue a black and then like an aqua blue color there's a few different options that you can choose from if you guys like the shirt please purchase it it means a lot it would support me a lot and again you get something in return for basically donating I hope you guys enjoy it I'm excited excited for this. If you can't tell, I feel like I'm talking in circles right now, which is something I tend to do a lot if you haven't noticed already. Anyways, now I got to get out of this outfit because obviously I can't wear this for work today. I have a full body workout that I need to do this afternoon because I did not do it yesterday because I ended up going to my first tri club meeting, which actually went pretty well. So I'm going to start that up soon. And then tomorrow is an exciting day because I'm finally taking this damn bike off of the trainer and taking it to the bike shop to get my aero bars installed. I'm gonna get a new bike fit. I'm gonna get a tune up and we're gonna get this bad boy rocking and we're finally getting outside on the bike. So I'll just, I'm not gonna film this afternoon, but I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay, so the day that I have been looking forward to, but also like stressing out about is finally here. I'm gonna take my bike off of the trainer. You know, it's been, when did I put it on? I think I put it on the trainer in November. So I haven't taken it off since. So I don't even remember how I put it on. I just watched a YouTube video to kind of try to help me. But I have my back tire here. I'm gonna try to take this off, put the back tire back on. And then I really would like to try to ride it to the bike shop. The only thing is, is it's like, of course it's freaking nasty outside. It's been raining. It's like misting out there, but I'm tired of coming up with a day that I'm finally taking it to the bike shop 
and then the weather is just not good or I make excuses as to why I'm not gonna do it. And I'm just tired of it. So I'm just saying screw it and I'm gonna get out there and I'm taking it to the bike shop even though it is misting and it's absolutely disgusting out and it's a little chilly. I'm just, I'm just tired of the weather dictating my life. Let me set this camera up and you guys can watch me hopefully not break my bike. Okay, so I think the first step is I need to unscrew this back piece. I should also probably unplug the trainer. Please don't break on me. Hopefully this is just ends up actually being really easy and I've hopefully just been you know, overthinking it. Ta-da! Shit, my hands are all greasy. I should have thought this through. One second. Okay, so now that that is off, do I just... How did I do this? Unhook that from there. So that was easy. But here's where I'm kind of confused. How do I get this wheel back on here? I think it goes on this side. Shit. Um, lucky no, don't come over here, please. Daddy's trying to do something. I'm trying not to break my bike. I'm trying not to get too greasy. This is a real nightmare. Oh no. This isn't good. Well, the chain is on, I think. There's gotta be an easier way to do this. Lucky, watch out. Maybe if I fix the gear. There we go. I think I got it. I'm just worried that the gear is gonna be all fucked up. Uh-oh, I might be on to something. I think I'm good. I think I did it. Let's go. I think I did it and my hands only got a little greasy. The real test will be <laughs> when I take it outside because hopefully this wheel doesn't fall off the bag. Wouldn't that be a damn nightmare? Lucky, thanks for helping, I guess. So yeah, I'm going to what time is it? I'm gonna try to ride it. People are like walking around with umbrellas, but I really need to do this today so that, cause it's Thursday right now. And in order for me to have it ready to go for my long ride on Saturday, I'm gonna need to come get it tomorrow, I guess. Again, I'm saying screw it. I'm going out there. I'm just gonna have to bundle up a little bit. I'm getting this taken care of. So I'll see you guys out there. So hopefully this camera angle works. I'm using the Insta360. I've had this camera for a while, but I've never used it on a bike before. I'm a little stressed out, I will say, just because I don't know if I put my bike on the right way. And I think the weather is not helping either. Guys, pray that I'm safe on this thing. I should have pumped up the tires too. Oh shit. It's my turn. Here we go. Okay. Oh, I forgot what this was like. I obviously don't have my cycling shoes on, so I'm not clipped in. So that kind of helps this situation. So I currently live, oh, my back tire is so flat, shit. Why didn't I pump this up beforehand? I live on the Upper East Side and the bike shop I need to go to is on the Upper West. So I just really need to get across the park. God, I'm kind of nervous about my flat tire on the back. I hope it's okay. At least I'm not going too far. I feel like this would be a cool way to do some of these cycling workouts though. So we'll get to see some sights and sounds of where I'm cycling. And for me, honestly, it'll be cool to look back on. That's what I'm really excited about. I'm trying to figure out how I want to get across the park. I need to go across the 72nd Street Traverse. So let me go this way. This is Park Avenue, by the way. I think this camera's 360, so I can swing around and show you some of the nice views. I really need to switch gears, but I'm scared. All right, let's just give it a shot. Woo! Yay! What a success. God, I forgot what it felt like to be out on a bike outside. This is amazing. I can't wait for that nice weather to come and start doing these long rides. Hopefully Saturday is the day. Okay, crossing Fifth Avenue. Made it to Central Park, so now I don't have to worry about traffic at least. Man, it's gonna be so nice when I am out on these long rides. 
not only for me, I'm not sitting inside on a damn trainer anymore, but also for you guys, because you don't have to watch me sit on a damn trainer, which I know is not entertaining whatsoever. I almost want to do a joyride around the park. I need my bike to get fixed first. This flat tire is really bothering me. I just feel like this is not good to be riding on it like this. Don't give me any hate comments, please. I know it's not good. I'm so excited. I feel like I'm coming back to life on this damn bike. This is freedom. It's like I just escaped jail. So right here, this is the Dakota. If you guys know the Beatles and John Lennon, that's actually where he used to live. But unfortunately, he was also shot outside that building too. Sad story. Sorry to be a downer. But you know, it's a rainy, gloomy day, so it makes for a sad story. So the bike shop is on West 64th Street. I think that's what it's on. And I'm on West 70th now, riding down. And then we'll be there. This was not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. We're gonna take a right onto 64th. Actually, let's go over to 63rd. 64th is a one-way street, and I don't want to go the wrong way. I feel like I'm gonna get to the bike shop and they're gonna be like, you were riding on that tire? What's wrong with you? I don't even want to show you guys how flat it is. Oh. So now, yeah, now I'm on the Upper West Side. I love this neighborhood. If I didn't live on the Upper East Side, this is where I'd live. It also helps that my team and I, well, specifically me lately, I feel like I've been doing a ton of business up here. So, I'm pretty biased, I guess. Almost home. Just kidding, not almost home, but almost to the bike shop. We're so close. I'm honestly so proud of myself. I have been dreading this day, mainly from a perspective of being scared that I was gonna put my back wheel back on wrong. But I'm proud of myself because I did it. Thank God it didn't start like raining even more while I was on this thing. I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm so happy I made it and I didn't die. What a miracle. What a miracle. All right, I made it here. Going to stop recording for now. Going here, pick out my aero bars and stuff, drop it off, and then I'll check in afterwards. But good ride, good first ride. Especially with the camera set up. Hopefully that was a little entertaining. But I'll see you guys in a minute. This is the bike shop I go to, Toga, on the Upper West Side. Now let's go get this bad boy set up. Morning. It was a perfect day to do it. Right. Nah, Put my wheel back on for the first time off of the trainer. So okay. I, hopefully I did it right. Let's I mean, I made on. it over here. The tire definitely needs air. Yeah, no problem. Um, it is a little loose, but we can easily adjust it. That's Sweet. It. Yeah, you did a pretty good job, actually. Thanks, yeah. it's. Sorry, it's all muddy and stuff. It happens. It's, actually, if it was really like brand new, I would be like, not so good. But yeah, it looks like you've ridden the bike. Yo, definitely. Cool, and then yeah, I guess I want to figure out aero bars mm -hmm. and all the other stuff to really deck yeah, it out. So let's talk about aero bars first. Yeah. Will, by the way, at Toga, yeah, highly sure. recommend you guys coming to check him out <laughs> if you guys are in the city. But yeah, I'm looking at getting some aero bars. So he's trying to show me which ones I should get. So actually, these are actually made by Zip. They're mm -hmm. considered to be probably one of the elite brands of not just triathlon, but also in cycling in general. The nice thing about these aero bars is they do have what's called a ski bend design. Mm -hmm. Ski bend in the terms that you have the ability to pull the bars, have the ability to also be very comfortable, and more importantly, you can adjust them so they can be customized to the individual. So not just in the length, but also in the width, as well as the tilt. Mm -hmm. So this is definitely one of the nicer bars out there without compromising also weight. So yeah. you have something that's light, adjustable, yet comfortable. And then the, I guess the other thing I would want to look at is the piece to go, like yeah, so those are the storage. Hi, buddy. You're doing a half, correct? I'm doing a half and, and a full, right? A, you mentioned and a the full. Lake Placid, yeah, Lake Placid. So I think towards that, you're probably gonna want to get maybe another bottle. So yeah. it'll be a combination of four. But what what you're doing here is actually clever and very smart. Remember, since you do have a narrow bottle, you can constantly refuel yeah. with the bottles. And then, of course, in transition area, you can refuel again. That's what most people usually do. Mm -hmm. so, okay, cool. So, yeah, three or four is kind of like the norm. 
But yeah, I think this one's going to be important. Uh, oh my God, yeah. The... In fact, um, when I did my half, this is something that I constantly, constantly used. And yeah. It, it makes a difference because if you don't have it, you sometimes do forget to drink. Yeah, it's exactly. Like reminds you, it's right. And it's easy because, yeah, you yeah, can literally right, yeah. just use the straw too. Yeah, so I think Sweet. it's really clever. One issue that I have had in the past sure. is sometimes like when I'm pushing a really heavy gear okay. or big gear, I guess you could say, mm -hmm. it almost jumps gears. Then it makes it where I can't push as hard because it keeps jumping back down to like an easier makes, gear. Makes so I don't really know what the issue was there. By the time I was getting fed up with having that issue, it was time to put it on the trainer anyway. So I was like, well, I'll just deal with it when I take it off the trainer. And I, and I see it. I mean, I definitely see it. Oh, so, you see it. Yeah, I see it. I feel, and actually this is what I want to show you. So as I pedal, I just shift it. Yeah. It didn't do anything. I'm gonna shift again. And now there it goes. Shift, yeah. Right? I'm gonna shift back. You hear that? Yeah. That's, that is a gear adjustment, and that's a, that's even worse right there. See how it goes back and forth? I don't know if you saw that. That's definitely needs to be addressed. Okay. So what yeah. is that issue? And that's an adjustment. Oh, it's an adjustment. So that means that the uh, derailleur needs to be fine tuned because apparently after that initial period of breaking in, the cables did stretch and they just need to be adjusted. Oh, okay. Speaking of which, so you've ridden the bike mostly indoors, correct? Or did you ride it quite half a bit? Half and half. half. Yeah, half and half, I'd say. So therefore, I'm going to recommend just the chain. Okay. Because that way, because I'm pretty sure the, ca the cassette is still good. And yeah, I basically stopped way. using the cassette in November. So we're just going to place a chain. Okay. Let me just go ahead and take a look at anything else that might be in need of. Uh, mission is complete. Bike is officially dropped off at the bike shop. I'm getting my aero bars put on and I got a few other things, but I'll go over it all on Saturday, which is when my next video is going to be. But tomorrow I will be picking up my bike from the bike shop tomorrow night sometime. So I'll have it in time for my long ride on Saturday. Thank God. I'm so excited. It'll be fun to start getting used to having the aero bars on. But now headed to the office going to eat I just picked up some lunch and I am honestly beat I need some coffee I had another one of those speed runs this morning I just didn't film it I wanted to get in there and get it done it was the no let up run I think I did a little over seven miles on the treadmill but those speed runs lately have been kicking my ass and then I did a weight workout afterwards but honestly I focused a lot on legs today I really got to keep strengthening those bad boys but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Not as much training in it. Really the whole thing was getting my bike off the trainer and then making the announcement about the t-shirt. So make sure you get a t-shirt if you do like them. Again, all the proceeds go to the Ironman Foundation. So thanks again for watching guys. Give this video a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one.